Andrew Johnson again back here looking at part four of the problem solving process. We're going to examine Sternberg's triactic theory of intelligence as it relates to problem solving in organizations, schools, classrooms, home, etc. Usually solutions to problems that aren't optimal, bad ideas, are a result of not understanding the process of solving problems or the creative process. Understanding this process will enable you and all human beings to be better problem solvers and to come up with fewer cookie ideas. Robert Sternberg, Triactic Theory of Intelligence, says that intelligence occurs in any area or any field when there is a combination of three types of thinking. Generative thinking, they'd be able to generate a lot of ideas, or creative thinking, make associations. Evaluative thinking, able to organize, able to evaluate, this is good, this is not good, this is deductive type of thinking. And pragmatic thinking, the ability to make it work. This perfectly illustrates what is needed in the problem solving process the creative process or the means ends analysis, two very simple heuristics that I talked about. And the simple ideas in education are usually the best ideas. Simple it up. When things get all complicated, those are usually the ideas that are less good. Keep it simple. First of all, generative thinking. This is the ability to generate a whole bunch of different ideas. You see a problem, and then you generate a whole bunch of ideas. Now, I know teachers uh, need generative thinking. Uh, they come up with new ideas for curriculum, for lesson planning, for strategies. And I'm putting this, by the way, in the context of thinking because that is what I am. I am a second grade teacher, or a formal second grade teacher and wrestling coach, now a professor, but I still use these types of thinking. I still consider myself a second grade teacher and wrestling coach. Uh, okay, off on a tangent. Evaluative thinking. Okay, you got a whole bunch of ideas. This is where you're able to analyze it and say, this is the criteria. I think this is a good idea. This is not a good idea. Now in education, sometimes we get people that are just good at this, but not good at all of them. We have a lot of people that come up with a lot of great ideas, and we need those kinds of people. We also need people who can evaluate the ideas and see which one might be the best. However, sometimes people just focus on this. Oh, that's a bad idea. Oh, that won't work. So being an evaluative thinker without being able to generate or think outside the box is not very effective. Being able to come up with new ideas without the ability to evaluate is not very effective as well. So we see that these two ideas complement each other and are so important. However, but wait, there's one more. Pragmatic thinking. That's the ability to make it work. You can come up with a whole bunch of ideas. You can evaluate and find the best idea and the criteria, but without the ability to link this to practice, this is where the rubber meets the road, to tweak it to see the needs of the students or the situation, these really aren't very effective. Good teachers, master teachers that I have encountered, are able to generate a whole bunch of creative ideas to think outside the box. No, I don't have to be limited to that curriculum. I don't need to be limited by tradition or what we've always done or I think isms. I see things could and should be done better. Evaluative thinking. Okay, here's a whole bunch of ideas. That one's not so good. This is a good. I can find the best idea. I can find what's good and bad. I can evaluate. I can analyze. I can deduce. And pragmatic thinking. The, the ability to take these new ideas and make them work. Sternberg's triarctic theory applied to problem solving. End of part four.